Hey guys, it's me again with the second of today's videos, which has me on the Faroe Islands. As the first known settlers of the Faroe Islands were Irish monks in the 6th century AD, told of the, who told of the islands of the sheep and paradise of the birds. As the name Faroe or Faroe Islands survived from the Old North, meaning Sheep Islands, and given a name by the Viking Age settlers arriving from Norway in the 9th century. As medieval culture and organization of the Faroe Islands were clearly not in origin and form, as they established their Arifing Parliament, later named Lugting and Tin. Ganes in Tarshav and Tarshavn still is the capital of the modern day Faroe Islands and claims to hold the oldest parliament in the world. As the Viking Age, Norwegian kings long aspired to gain control over the islands, but for many years the Faroese managed to fight them off. But in the latter half of the 12th century, the Faroe Islands eventually became firmly under the kingdom of Norway. As the Faroe Islands joined Norway in the dual monarchy with Denmark in the late 14th century, when the Norway Union was succeeded by the Norwegian Swedish Union in 1814, the former Norwegian territory, territory of the Far Faroe Islands remained under the sovereignty of the Kingdom of Denmark, and due to other factors, the movement of both Norway and De from Norway and Denmark. The Faroe Islands always maintain a special jurisdiction along with the distinct language and culture guided by the ancient Lugting. As the raw trade monopoly long stood in, a, in the way of development, and when it was abolished in 1856, an export oriented commercial fishing industry rapidly developed. On the Faroe Islands, kickstarting their development of a modern market economy and population growth. As a special constitutional status combined with a growing export oriented economy and a culture, national awakening by the late 19th century, fueling for the Faroese nation building process up and the establishment of political autonomy. So it's the adoption of Home Rule Agreement of 1948. The Faroe Islands have had an extensive self-government. As they f fisheries and aquaculture are based on the production and export of high quality Faroese fish products, which constitutes 95% of the total income of exported goods. As diversification of the economy and the development of a welfare state, it's a variety of work and opportunities in the modern day society. With the economic wealth, the Far East have developed a welfare state, much along the lines of a typical Scandinavian welfare model, like free education and healthcare for everyone. As the uh, legends are interesting times for the Faroe Islands, as the uh, rugged North Atlantic, Atlantic archipelago is currently Revising its history books in the light of a new archaeological research that proves Vikings were not the first people who were to settle the island. But for centuries, it was rightly accepted that Norse conquerors were the earliest inhabitants of the island. This had been the premise for the first Norway and Denmark's claim of sovereignty over the Faroe Islands since 1035, but as yeah, we have previously mentioned that there were monks in Ireland from Ireland as early as the sixth century, but may have also come from Scotland as well. As yeah, they did both like maybe as early as like the fourth century. But, like, but it's established that they were there four hundred years before the Vikings had arrived. Yeah. As it sits awkwardly with the eighteen islands. The Far Islands are a land of legend and the truth can get away get in the way of a good yarn. 
as you can hear me stick around long enough you may hear tales about fairies women who are said to descend from the most beautiful like women in girl like Ireland Britain and Ireland. As for folklore has it that they were plucked from the Hemland by marauding Vikings. It's just about populating their new found territory with attractive foreign women. As far as fiction it can be fun, but a diminutive nation is curious enough about, about the embellishments. It was floating just south of, south of the Arctic Circle. The archipelago should be a land of polar bears with, and permafrost. But the position in the Gulf Stream means that the mercury rarely drops below zero and southern rises above 11 degrees C. It rains for about 260 days of the year, with the capital in Tershav and seems to be permanently cloaked in fog. And yet the locals remain sanguine despite the weather and speak Chilean fairies as the Old Norse language dating back to the Middle Ages. As the most of the inhabitants are involved in the fishing or sheep industry, in the fact that the name Pharaoh translates locally as sheep. As the woolly as they kind of like outnumber humans 50,000 to 1. <laughs> like 50, no, no, it's not as it's 50,000 people, as it is about 3 sheep for one human person. So yeah, about 50,000, 150,000 sheep. As Jonas Brock Danielson, a local engineer who lives in the small hamlet near Torshan and has said it's important not to fall out with anyone here. You'll be bumping into them for the rest of your life. It's always helpful. As Danielson's red tim house is a staring throw away from the sea and on a clear day, you can see he can see sperm whales swimming in the bay. But whales are a touchy subject in the Faroe Islands. As a spice a moratorium of the International Whaling Commission, locals still hunt them on traditional and um, tradition dating back centuries. As Joan hunts no one known as Grindad Draps, helmsmen use their boats to drive pods of pilot whales into shallow waters where men with blades will kill them as carcasses are then butchered in the beach and the meat is divided between the locals as environmentalists deem the practice cruel and say that the meat, that the meat is unfit for human consumption but islands claim that it's a sustainable food source and part of their culture as Tirud, that's an Afari singer songwriter who has taught, taught the world and scooped numerous, scooped numerous awards for his music in Denmark, has said, find, more, find it more messed up being an animal to take it to a slaughter, take to a slaughterhouse. At least the whales are free in the wild before they are killed. Like, for me, it's been like, if it's kind of like sustainably and done and like, the animal doesn't exactly feel anything, I have no mind, doesn't, don't mind. But it's but like, I have no idea how they kind of do it kind of thing. So it's but like, who am I to judge? As grind dead throughout have spe happened sporadically throughout the summer and attract crowds of local and some tourists. But most visitors come to see the wildlife. It doesn't end up on a dinner plate. The islands are no longer allowed to eat puffins, as they are did chiefly the birds. As the Faroe fire, fire Islands are home to roughly 110 bird species, strong and sore amongst many colonised the Westermont Islands of both kinds, and is virtually only the helicopter or boat, as mostly most islands are linked. By on the sea road tunnels. As Atlantic helico Airways helicopters depart the diminutive Vagar airport located on the Vagar, the trip usually takes about 10 minutes. But before takeoff departs, one 
me warn that the thick fog and regular a regular feature of the McCann Squad forces to turn back. Well, that seems hard to believe as we were uh, even in like sunny it was sunny Vaga and watched the rolling hills that kinda of gave way to the wave battered cliffs. As my kind was close by can we still be close by fog regardless and the pilots can be trained to go good. As you as you can kinda of see touch down near like a small amount of brightly coloured timber houses. As on the island as the last census recorded that there were fourteen permanent residents residents as the bird population is significantly larger though during the breeding season between April and August and although there there are fifty thousand pairs of northern furimar alone, which is why my kinds has been recognised as a bird life international as a globally important habitat for the species and other such are puffins, garnets and razor bills. There's a small white house. Uh any of a squawking mark a squawking mark to the arrival at Makin uh Southern Moor as yeah, Taurus can be a big deal as you can be mindful I should be mindful as not to disturb the Hurdu folk which are calling to folklore the dark haired elves that reside in rocks and use their psychological powers to gain influence over you as a Hurdu folk are can be nowhere to see, be seen but the improving visibility unveiled skies song with birds as puffin and garnets can be day dark past carrying beaks full of fish for the young which call out from the nests on the cliffs, uh, cliffs as eventually the fog can disappear with remarkable views of the rocky headlands and due east the silhouette of Bogar look can lurk on the horizon while out west sea birds were flooding the shopping north Atlantic for fish, as the ocean is the lifeblood for the Faroe Islands, has brought the man to the archipelago and sustained him with seafood ever since. But who was the island? F but who was that first man when he did arrive? Could have, could have been Hordu folk. But it kind of remains to be seen and for others to decide, preferably those on the Faroe Islands. And their folklore, so yeah. Bye for now and I'll see you soon.